Greetings fellow detectives, WizardKitten774 here bringing you the next video in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew's Secret of the Old Clock. We are about to play some mini golf. So the par for the first hole is two. Okay. So basically you need to line up your golf ball and in this one I recommend kind of hitting it as far as you can right along the edge. Awesome. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, shoot. See, I hate when you can't pull it back far enough. See, there's no way I can pull it back farther. <sighs> Cheap. So we got four there. Not even close to what we need. Hole two. Uh, this one, your main goal is going to be to kind of ricochet the golf ball. Oh, crap. I, I hate this mini game. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I think it's so hard. It never works out the way I want it to. I hit it too hard. Oh, did you hit it too hard, Nancy? There we go. See, I'm the first time we do this, there's no way I'm going to get anywhere close to par. There's a couple holes that actually have some shortcuts, which is good, like this one. If you can get it into this hole right away. Rat. I'll stick it out on the other side. There we go. Okay, so we got... <laughs> didn't get far on that one either. This one... Part of the tricky part is putting it in the right place and also... Like... Oh, okay, so we should not do that one. Oh, what? That was too hard? Okay, so we got two over. We're just going to bogey and double bogey every hole. That's just going to be our goal. Part of the problem is you need to put it somewhere where you can pull your golf club far enough back. But there's only a few places where, like, lining it up is actually conducive to that. Oh, good grief. Mm. There we go. Oh, did we actually get par in one for once? Oh, that's good. How nice. And then, I feel like there should be a secret spot for this one. I hit it too hard. Okay, well, let it bounce, Nancy. There we go. Teeny town. Woo! I hit it too hard. Woo! Oh, gosh. Oh. So Darn. much of this is luck. Okay, so we did really poorly. Uh -huh. We need to do that again. Old Looks like I'm supposed here. to put my scorecard in here when I'm done. Okay, so now we need to play again. I'm telling you, this is hard. This is tough, guys. This might take a while. If I don't get it on this try, I'll do the rest off camera so you don't have to just keep watching golf. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Oh crap, that's a great start. Great start. Okay, well we got, we got lucky and we got par two. That's good. Oh, that was a poor bounce. So was that. See, and then I get frustrated, and then I just hit it way too hard. And that doesn't do anyone any favors. I hit it too hard. Oh, shoot. <sighs> this one makes me so mad. This puzzle is just the worst. 
See? Seven. And the power was four. Oh, this is so frustrating. Like, legitimately frustrating. I hit it too hard. Well, you were in a sand pit, so see? And then that time it was way too slow. Uh, can I'm just gonna give up, honestly. Ugh, I can't. I actually have to keep playing. Oh, okay, so you want to go in the middle one, clearly. Okay, we go in the middle hole. You better just drop it right into a hole, otherwise it's a whole lot of fanfare for nothing. Good. Okay. Ooh, I actually got one under par. Well, lucky me. Too bad I can't make up for that triple bogey somehow. Uh Line it straight up. Oh! Oh, that was so close. So close. Ooh! Oh gosh, no pressure! But I have to get three on this one. That is so not happening. There's no way. I hit it too hard. Come on, get in there. Okay, <laughs> if I get ridiculously lucky. Oh! I did it! Oh my gosh! I got ridiculously lucky. I totally did it. Oh, that's a relief. I did not want to play that game again. That is so hard, and it stresses me out so much. Like, I just had a massage today, and I can feel all of the stress coming back. It's a pony! It's a little horse. Okay. So now we should be able to get that uh, shed open. And never play mini golf ever again. That is probably my least favorite activity in the entire Nancy Drew series. Probably even more than um, playing Fox and Goose in White Wolf of Icicle Creek. And probably even more than the giant nonogram in Shadow of the Water's Edge. Probably. Okay, so we read in Josiah's journal that we need to put in four words, basically. First word being keen. Because that's what shows us when um, you win Bard Bounce. And then his favorite poet is Omar. And then the thing that you win at mini golf is a pony. Pony. All right, and Gloria's middle name was Lois. I've never met anyone with the middle name Lois. Dead. What do we got? That looks like an interesting contraption. Um, I wonder what goes here. That kind of looks like the size of this mirror. Yeah, it does. Um, what's this? Dominoes? Do we have to make a domino trail? Okay, so we need five here. Uh, right click to turn. Oops. Let's get that out of there first. And then we need two. And then we need six. And three. One. one nine. Four. And then that one. Cool. I pulled the lever. Oops. Oh, it shines light on where the mirrors probably go. 
Cool. Okay, so here's the other one. Let's put a mirror there. We found three mirrors. Is that all we need? There's a bass. It's over here. Freshwater fish of the Midwest. Yellow perch, red ear, walleye, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, catfish. Cool. We already caught a fish though. Oh, look, here's another clock. Oh, and it has moons on it. You know, like the, um, the pattern thing that we saw. Okay, so the numbers were one, two, four, two, eight, two, and seven. Ding! Oop! Another mirror! Cool beans! Yeah, we got those numbers from the golf course. There was a little puzzle there. Let's see. So, another mirror must go here. And then... What do we got? What do we got? Another mirror must go here. Do they all bounce off each other, I'm guessing? Let's pull the light and see. I need to adjust the mirror so that the light hits them just right. Yeah, we need to get them to hit this little vein over here, or whatever that's called. So you need to rotate the mirrors. Can I get this one to rotate far enough to hit the light? No, not quite. It's close. Um Okay, well let's see. Maybe instead of going to that light, this one goes over here, to there, and then this one can rotate to get that light, which this one can then go get this light. It's gonna have to go all the way around. This one goes really far. Okay, and then this one. Aha! There we go. What's gonna happen? Ooh, secret ladder. What up here? is that? It looks like something that would be in like Beauty and the Beast when all the furniture comes alive. That's what it looks like. Looks like Josiah was a ham radio operator. We've used ham radios before in Secret of the Scarlet Hand. That won't work. Oh yeah, we're missing a piece that we need to make it work. Order new quartz. That's what we need from Krollmeister Crystal Company. Paid 474. Highway robbery. Delivery to take six weeks. Have Waddle cut the blank. He did a swell job last time. Okay, so we need a crystal from Krollmeister. Krollmeister being the company that makes legitimately everything in the Nancy Drew games. Uh, we have a microphone that we can use. Odds are we're going to need to use that uh, radio. I've seen these symbols before. They were in that newspaper story about hobos. Yeah, they are. The hobo signs. Interesting. Forget where you put El Watt. Marcel's band, you old coot. Marcel's band? What does any of that mean? That's all very confusing. Very confusing. Mm, maybe Richard Topham can make sense of some of this stuff? Let's see. Let's go talk to him. 
He knew Josiah pretty well. I mean, he's living in his house, for goodness sakes. Maybe he, he knows who Marcel is. Hello, Miss Drew. Hello, Mr. Topham. Hi, Yuri. Hi, my buddy. You're my friend now. We're friends. My friend. Now what? Do you by any chance know who Marcel is? Marcel was what Josiah called his favorite hat. His hat? The man named his hat? He loved that hat, so to him naming it made perfect sense. Do you still have Marcel? No, as a matter of fact, I gave that hat to Gloria Crandall. She said she was fond of the old fellow and wanted something to remember him by, although I suspect the real reason she wanted that hat was to see if he'd stashed any money in it. Josiah ordered something from the Krollmeister Crystal Company just before he passed away. Do you know if it ever arrived? You must be talking about that chunk of quartz that came last winter. I still have it right here. Why? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a rock collector. Do you think I could have it? Perhaps we can work something out. You see, amazing as this is going to sound, I am able to project my thoughts into another person's brain. Is that so? The only problem is, not everyone has the intellectual capacity to receive my thoughts. But since you have already demonstrated a high level of intelligence, yes, you may very well be the ideal subject. Subject? As in, experiment? You are going to help me prove that I am telepathic. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle a deck which contains five sets of these cards. Then I'm going to turn my back, draw a card, look at it, and start transmitting my thoughts. When you receive my thoughts, you will identify the card I'm looking at. Once you correctly identify five cards in a row, I'll give you that piece of quartz. But what if I can't do it? Just stay focused on the cards and my superior brain power will do the rest. Very well, let's begin. Do you know what card I'm looking at? I'm actually going to pause this game, this, well, this video right here, uh, just so this one doesn't get too long, because this can be kind of a long activity, but I will start right here in the next video. Thanks for watching, fellow detectives. See you soon.